Yeah, I I know it's hard to remember how college life used to be. Okay. In this video, we will talk about Pappy's teeth. COVID. Let me see your teeth. In the beginning, puppies have no teeth, just like humans. On average, most breeds rapidly develop a puppy set of teeth. This first set of puppy teeth will commonly have 28 teeth. As they age, they lose and gain their second set of 42 teeth, also known as an adult teeth. The bite mo is this one. Let me see your teeth. Let me see. Wag malikut. Yung bite mo, it's a little bit outward. Yung sa ilalim, parang nakaout siya. Okay, anyway, milk, milk teeth pa lang naman yan. Sige, okay. Decidious and permanent teeth are the two stages of dental development in dogs. Dogs' teeth are categorized into four classes or types. Incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Incisors are the teeth that are present right in the front on both the upper and the lower jaws. There are a total of 12 incisors, 6 each on either jaw. The main functions of these teeth include chewing or nibbling on food. Canines are also called fangs and are quite well known because of dogs and vampire movies. These teeth are long and pointed and are immediately next to the incisors. This is known as a scissor bite. The function of these teeth is to grab and tear. If your dog is fighting with another dog or playing a game of fetch with you, then the canine are used to bite the ball or the other dogs. The Decidious teeth include four canines and 12 incisors. Premolars are the wide, flat, and pointed teeth that are situated behind the canines. The functions of the premolars is chewing, tearing, and biting. Dogs chew their food using their premolars. You may even notice that if you throw a stick to your dog to fetch, and then he will hold the stick on the side of the mouth in the premolar. Molars are bigger than the premolars and perform the main function of chewing hard things like bones or dog biscuits. They are a bit sharper than the premolars as well. The total number of molars that a dog possesses is 10. There are 6 on the lower jaw, 3 on each side, and 4 on the upper jaw, 2 on each side. Puppies do not have any molars. Decidious molars do not exist. They only grow as a permanent teeth. How to determine the right bite? The bite is right when it is normal. The scissor bite refers to the normal relationship between the upper and the lower teeth. This is also called the normal occlusion. The upper incisors overlap the lower incisors when the mouth is closed. The lower incisor crown tips rest on the inside cingulum of the opposing upper incisor teeth. The lower canine teeth feed in between the upper third incisor and the upper canine without touching either of them when the mouth is closed. In viewing the teeth of the side with the mouth closed, the premolar teeth of the upper and the lower dental arcades interdigitate very much like the teeth of a sheer scissors. This malocclusion is sometimes referred to as an underbite. The mandibles may be too long or the maxillus is too short in relation to the mandibles. It is also called maxillary brachognism. Malocclusion can be very uncomfortable for the companion animals. Treatment for these conditions require an accurate diagnosis in all cases. Treatment planning is based directly on the diagnosis. Some cases are appropriate for braces. Catch this, huh? Catch this, huh? Okay. One, two, three, go!
good dog. Puli. I would like to thank several friends who continuously help me in my YouTube channel. Erika Sebeda, pang sampung sampung anak sa labing dalawang magkakapatid. 1994, pumunta ako Manila. Sinubukan ko makipagsapalaran at sumama sa ate ko na nagkatrabaho sa kaluokan. Pero ang kapalit ng pag-aaral ko sa kanya, mag-alaga sa mga anak niya. No more, no more, smartphone till next time hello my friends welcome back to my channel at comma here and to those who are new please welcome tonight we have coconut sticky rice It looks really good, and I'm going to have David to taste test it. Mm. Mm, it's good! Okay, what would you give it? A 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also turn on the notifications and stay tuned for more videos that me and David will be producing. Also, leave a comment down below for any suggestions that you guys have for us. What's up? It's Chicken Nugget Girl here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do plant propagation. And today's topic, we will doing marketing. If you guys don't know what that is, well, you'll just have to find out and see. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe to my ch channel, Chicken Nugget Girl. And whoa, okay, bye, Skippy. So please subscribe to my channel and please hit the big thumbs up and hit the notification bell and yeah that's all and so let's get on to the video here are the following stuff you need coconut husk oh, oh. it's you just have to do this part just just part so yeah plastic a yarn and a knife also oh, what is plant propagation Excellent. 